Hello everybody, ciao a tutti and welcome to Art with Miss B. Today I'm very excited to be here with you and guiding you into this practice. I want to talk a little bit about what you're going to uh, gain from this practice, uh, which is focused on abstraction. So how can we use patterns and to abstract something that is not like, that it's real, like, and it can exist in reality, just uh, through a like a system of lines, a system of shapes, uh, changing their direction and intersecting each other, we can create an abstract piece that represents something that is instead objective. So in this case, this is the pattern that we're going to do together. And the I represented the planet Earth. So this is an abstraction, so something that it is real and in reality looks very different from what I do what I did it on my paper and what we will do together. However, when you look at the piece, when the piece is all done, it will give you the impression of the earth, the idea of the earth, the connection of, with the earth, which is the subject that I decided to uh, render in an abstract way. For this practice, you need a mixed and media paper. If you have a journal like I do, I encourage you to keep filling the journal so you have all of your practice organized. If you do it on loose pieces of paper, make sure that you finish, you sign them and you place them all together. It is important to say what we do because it is such a learning experience that we gain after a while when we go back and we observe our pieces. You can con contrast and compare. You can reflect. Reflection is very important, right? We reflect before we do something, while we do something and after we finish. I use a very thick uh, markers. You use any markers that you have available. If you don't have a markers like this one and they have like a pretty thick tip, don't worry. You will just take a little longer to color the earth. For the color, I decided to go with the aqua ultramarine. It's one of my favorite color and I associate it with the ocean, with the water, which is, you know, water covers the majority of our uh, surface on this planet, right? But you can actually choose any color that you feel that connects you with the earth, with our planet. It could be another type of blue, it could be a green, thinking about the forest and the grass, it could be something warmer, thinking about land and ground and dirt and dust and sand, or even the fire, right? Thinking about the nucleus. So make your choice about the color that you're going to do. You don't have to copy me. If you would like to do something exactly as I did, go on, go on. And then for the lines, I use actually a pencil to trace the circle and just take any circular shape that you have available that allows you to trace a pretty medium big circle. So you have space to have fun and try these patterns. And then you can uh, use a, a black fine markers, if you have a Sharpie, if you have any brand that you have available, it's like the only thing that it counts is really that the tip of the markers must be fine or extra fine. So it will allow you to trace better lines. And then just kind of put yourself in a comfortable position, find yourself a nice space that you can prep your materials and practice with me. As I always say, you can do in two ways. You can practice with me, pausing the video after I give instruction, prep your materials, start it and we practice along together, or you can watch all the videos, speed it up a little bit so you will see the final, like in all the steps and the stages of the design, and then you can do it at your own pace if you need to go slower, if you don't want to do it in one single session. Once I always say I want these channels to be affordable, to be approachable, so you need to kind of stretch and change the practice in order to do you and in order to benefit from my videos as much as possible. Please consider to subscribe to this channel and help this community grow. Uh, I, you know, you will notice that I publish a video each week, many shorter video twice or three times per week when I have the chance. So have fun and go back also to my other videos so you can kind of start to build your portfolios and practice with me and get uh, more fluent in uh, patterns and lines and colors and whatever I'm sharing with you. I'm going to switch the camera so we can start the practice together and I see you all at the end.
Okay, my friends artists, here is the pattern that we created together and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I once again wanted to introduce the concept of abstractions through a practice and through patterns. As I say, I really wish that I could see the picture of your patterns because I know that many of you decided to use the different colors and a color can impact a design very much. So the same design with the red instead of this aquamarine, with the purple or with the blue or with a different type of green will look different, right? And this is the beauty of art that we can repeat the same practice, change the colors, the type of lines, there are infinite possibility. So I really hope that you explore your possibility and remember patterns are extremely important for us so they help us with concentration they help us with focus with relaxation they help us to be present they are mindful and reflective practice that will really benefit you in so many different ways so try your best to find the once or twice uh, practice per week that will allow you to kind of get this 20 30 minutes max in which you're all focused on what you're doing on the paper and you bubble yourself from everything else that is going on in your life i see you very soon next week for another practice and another video please consider to subscribe and refer this channel to your friends if you like what i do ciao a tutti